today I've gotten the opportunity to go up to Birmingham to hang out with some guys that decided to partner with me this year at, when I'm at Troy, uh, the Troy Bass team. Uh, exceptional baits, Blake with exceptional baits. Um, they decided to partner up with me this year um, and we're gonna go up there and give a, a quick little rundown of how they how they do things, what the operation's like, and the whole mission behind what they're trying to do. Pretty cool thing what they got going on up there. I hope you enjoy it. And we're actually gonna be able to go out there on Lake Martin today and test out these baits and just show you how good they are at catching spotted bass in preparation for this Logan Parks Fishing Foundation um, Fishing Chaos Tournament, the insane tournament this year. He has it every year. Um, enjoy. Hi, I'm Blake Wynn. I'm the Executive Director of Equip and founder of Exceptional Baits. Exceptional Baits was formed to help people with disabilities learn job skills and build stamina. And we do that by producing fishing lures, packaging fishing lures, and labeling those packages. And we pay our participants in our program $10 an hour at minimum, no matter how much they produce. Uh, figured the average time for, total for heating up the base plastic solve and just divided that up into segments. And I, in my opinion, I like to divide it up three, two, and then one, just to be sure I don't accidentally burn it. it you use different plastics for different baits? Yes. It's so like, what? what is this? It's gonna be a Senko or like a worm? Worms. Worms. So same, same class saw for <coughs> finesse, any type of worm style bait, and then we have a crawl and two plastic saw that's a little bit harder. It goes for those uh, crawfish style or whatever you want to call it. Would you use a softer one for like worms, like um, trick worms or something? And then it's thicker stuff for like freak creature baits or whatever? So what is this one? These are the same flat back triplet. I got gotcha. you. Sinkers, as you call them. Uh, this one's got a big air pocket in it. Mm. So that one gets remelted. We're in one color, waiting for it to cool, come back pour another color. And so I don't know that we'd be able to make that color. Um, that one might be a little too hard. But we have molds in a bunch of different types. But the molds are so expensive. Really? They're stupid expensive. I mean, it's like that one's probably two hundred dollars. Just And then each one, you know. Holy crap! There's another one. Let's the ones. Why so expensive? Uh, I think because once you have it, you have it. That's our grass grenade. Oh, sweet. Yeah, we like those. And then this is our Neds. Oh, that was really good. Mm -hmm. So what is the point of the oil in the bag? So we go in easier. That's one of the reasons. Yeah. It keeps them to where they don't take the shape of the bag too. Mm -hmm. So all worms will have that kind of greasy, oily feeling. Mm -hmm. If you put them in there without it and like say it bent just a little bit, it's gonna be stuck like that the whole time. Okay. When it broke, I didn't know where it was. And it was on accident and I kept it. And what, what bay is this? We call those lobsters. Lobsters? My name is Bo Lamble. I've been here on the bay. About, uh, I take about two years now. Um, really fast, fast, uh, uh, what's the thing? A bath on the air. Um, 
get there. Okay, sure. Got me a fish on the exceptional baits worm. He spit it, but not bad. I got one. Exceptional baits worm proves to catch fish. Not a big one, but. Today, almost a two pounder on a exceptional baits flat worm. He spit it again, but not bad. What'd you say to me?